Hi, welcome to our giveaway for the Kentucky Vampires Rare Limited Edition, Special Edition, Blue and Red Splatter. Speckle. Speckle. I just, I just wanted to say speckle. Vinyl of their uh, debut album, The Kentucky Vampires. Uh, we had a lot of comments on our giveaway video. Um, some of you may have come here because you got a message directly from The Kentucky Vampires on Bandcamp directing you to us. Um, it doesn't really matter how you got here. Thank you to everyone who commented. There was a huge response for this, so that's yeah, pretty damn cool. But uh, before we do any of that, I'm Azzy. And I'm Mouse. And uh, welcome to this giveaway. Let's read some of these comments. Okay. So a correction from our last video, I think I had said that it was a test pressing. It is not a test pressing. It is a legit special edition. So it's, uh, I found out that test pressings are actually a bit weaker. Oh, because they're not meant because they're test pressings. They're not meant to be played a ton, but this is not a test pressing. Okay. <clears throat> it is a small limited run of 22. Uh, most of them were given out to the band members, friends, friends and family and family, that sort of deal. And then they ran out of friends and family and just gave us one. I, no, I think that they set us a, that set aside one. So some friend or family no, I'm was kidding. like, I already have this. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, so let's read some of these comments. Okay, um, Pedro Caballero, I love the sound of this band. I would not l like to highlight any song over another, but Daughter of the Morning Star takes me to my deepest self. Yeah, that's the one we hear most on the dance floor, too. Um, Adam Canvanar says his favorite song is Holy Heretic. The guitars are great on that song. Um, there, yeah, that was a good single. That. Uh, so that ended up, end up on our up comp. comp. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We have th uh, 29 entries. Yeah, 29 entries. That's freaking crazy. Uh, Jay Owen, I adore, I adore the fact that they can be miles apart but still be phenomenal. They're completely amazing and fucking great to talk to. I'm a fan of the beginning, and we talk often. I love them, and so happy you said Acid Bats. I refuse to say one favorite song because it's just impossible, but Daughter of the Morning does great on the dance floor. So yeah, sign me up for that song if you need just one. <laughs> I like how everybody's like, I refuse to tell you what my favorite song is, but- But here it is. Daughter of the Morning. <laughs> Daughter of the Morning Star. Um, Tom Vecco says, I love all the songs. It would be cool when I get one of those these fantastic vinyl. I think the best person to win that because I bring the Kentucky to Switzerland. <laughs> From Kentucky to Switzerland. Look at the little smiley face emoji with the sunglasses. Oh, I love that. Um, daughter of the Morning Star, Daughter of the Morning star, star. How could you make me choose between Midnight, Moonlight Kiss, and Spellbound? That is I Am Ruin who said that. They're both so good. I guess Moonlight Kiss wins, but barely. Barely. Um, fearless Scroll, scroll. My favorite Kentucky Vampire song is Hex. I like that one. Um, it was one. the first song I heard from the band and made me an instant fan. Awesome vocals and guitar work make me feeling the late night horror movie nostalgia every time I hear it. Um, oh my God, it goes on and on. Ah, Coffin Fog Rising. I really like their new EP. All songs are amazing, lyrics and guitar riffs. The song I put faith in right now is Holy Heretics. Mm -hmm. That's another great dance floor song too. Bella Lugosi Resurrected. I just like these names. Mm -hmm. um, I liked the band before they released their EP, Blood and Tears, but after I listened to the new EP, I became a fan. Uh, I cast Our Love Has No Goodbyes to win this beautiful vinyl for me. Hmm. I like an atypical answer. <sighs> these are all so gothic. I love the name gothic. I'm going to mention a song I like that no one else seems to mention. Communicate with the living. I got into that song recently because of the vocals and the overall feel of the song. <laughs> cool. June says it's also one of her favorites. Aww. Truly haunting track. Oh, an, an early, early song, song with lyrics by Albie Mason of Scary Black. What? Very cool. <sighs> Veritas Dark. Thanks for this opportunity, Obscura Undead. It's hard to narrow it down to one track. I've been hooked on the Kentucky Vampire since first hearing them. I'll say holy heretic. Heretic. Is it heretic or? It's heretic. Uh, yes. I love the concept 
of Raging at an Archangel. Oh, and Ghost Pony Productions. Hell, they're all great, but goth in Kentucky can be a unique experience in itself, given the state's conservative and religious history. Even when you try to keep that shit low-key at work, because you're a bit older. Given that, holy heretic. <laughs> it was the first song of theirs that I heard after rediscovering my dark side and been hooked ever since. Oh, that's so sweet. That is a, a nice story. Yeah. All right, uh, so... But only one can win. There can only be one. Uh, so let's put this in a random number generator. Yep. Okay. One to 29. Random number generator. Blah, blah, blah. One to 29. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> go. Oh, it does it really fast. That's not very random. I guess it is random. It says one. It says one. All right. First comment. Shit, where's the window? Where'd it go? <laughs> Where'd it go? First comment was by Pedro Caballero. I love the sound of this band. And, oh, yeah, he's the first one who said, uh, Daughter of the Morning Star takes him to his deepest self. His deepest self. Cool. Congratulations, Pedro Congratulations, Caballero. Pedro. Yeah. And everybody who played, oh, my God, there's, um, there's a lot of comments on here. And a lot of, a lot of people um, participating this time. A lot of people participating and a lot of people telling us why they love Kentucky Vampires. I love that shit. I love talking to people about I had about no why idea that, that so many people were like into this. I thought it was just super, super obscure, but everybody loves it and it's great. Mm-hmm. Well, we hear it on the dance floor all the time here in Tampa. We play it on the dance floor here. And so does Jeff Black. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, can count. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. count. Okay, okay. But, um, awesome. So, congratulations, Pedro. And um, please get in contact with us, obscuraundead at gmail.com. And we will send that out to you the first opportunity that we get. Um, hopefully, this won't get delayed like the last one because of the holidays. Because those are over. Holidays suck. Holidays do suck for mail. Going to the post office. Oh my god, it's during hell. the holiday. Oh my god. Pedro, you won the thing. Pedro, you won the damn thing. Shit, I forgot to say the dang thing. <laughs> um. Anyway, thank you, Kentucky Vampires and Secrets and Records, for making this giveaway possible. Uh, this is super badass. And I hope, Pedro, that you really enjoy it because it's so fucking pretty and it plays very nicely too. Not that I've played it, but the green one plays very nicely. Yeah. I can only imagine this one is the same. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, we don't have another vinyl giveaway coming up, but stay tuned for more giveaways. I'm sure we'll have some shit. Bye. Oh, bye. This is